Good morning, fellow disciples. Our devotional today is entitled, Choosing to Steward Your Resources. Our passage on the reflection is Proverbs 3, verses 9 and 10. Honor the Lord with your wealth and with the first fruits of all your produce. Then your barns will be filled with plenty and your vats will be bursting with wine. As followers of Christ, we are called to be faithful stewards of all that God has entrusted to us. Whether it's our time, our talents, or our financial resources, we are not the ultimate owners, but rather caretakers of God's blessings. The first step in choosing to steward our resources well is to acknowledge that God is the true owner of everything. Proverbs 3 verses 9 and 10 reminds us to honor the Lord with our wealth and the first fruits of our labor. This recognition shifts our perspective from a mindset of ownership to one of stewardship, reminding us that all we have is a gift from God to be used for His glory. Effective stewardship involves carefully managing the resources God has entrusted to us. In the parable of the rich fool in Luke 12 verses 13 to 21, Jesus warns against the dangers of hoarding wealth without regard for the needs of others or the brevity of life. Instead, we are called to use our time, talents, and treasures to serve and bless those around us, reflecting God's generosity in all eras of our lives. 1 Timothy 6 verses 17 to 19 encourages us to set our hope not on the uncertainty of riches, but on the living God who richly provides us with everything to enjoy. This passage challenges us to invest in eternal treasures, acts of kindness, sharing the gospel, and supporting the work of God's kingdom rather than accumulating material possessions that fade away. Choosing to steward your resources is a daily decision to align your actions with God's principles. It means prioritizing His kingdom in your financial decisions, the way you spend your time, and the gifts and abilities you use to serve others. By thoughtfully managing what God has entrusted to you, you will experience greater fulfillment and purpose in your life and you will have the privilege of partnering with God in his work on earth. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we acknowledge that all we have comes from you. Help us to be faithful stewards of the resources you have entrusted to us, which are our time, talents, and treasures. May we honor you with our wealth and use it to further your kingdom rather than hoarding it for ourselves. Give us wisdom to manage our resources responsibly and to grant us the courage to invest in eternal things that have lasting value. May our lives be a reflection of your generosity and love. Amen.